Tariq and Monet try to leverage a way to get out from under Carter. God damn, they still ain't got from up under this nigga Carter. Just last week, they talking about Drew must take out a threat to Carter's organization. The week before, Monet fights to get her family from up under. This nigga Carter is applying pressure three straight episodes. Tariq and Monet try to leverage a way to get out from under Carter. So before we read any more, Monet failed. Drew, he may have got close to taking out who this threat is, but now these niggas are trying to leverage their way up out from up under Carter. They are fucking up. So we know three episodes, these niggas ain't getting a goddamn thing done. These niggas are the most unsuccessful Negroes we've seen. Three episodes straight, niggas is trying to get from up under the thumb. It's getting to the point where, nigga, we got to leverage something. I'm looking over at Monet, and I I know we in the power universe, so fuck it. We here now. We going to leverage something. Uh, Monet? I don't want to be the one to say it. Uh, if we going to leverage something, Monet, uh, this nigga's wife is gone. You might need to go shake something. We trying to, we trying to leverage something, Monet. You going to have to leverage something. It ain't nothing. My name is Therese St. Patrick. I ain't got shit to leverage. He already said I smell like shit. He told me I smell like my daddy, so... <laughs> Monet, you gonna have to do the leveraging. I don't know what you gotta do for it, but if you let that nigga Ramirez hit, I know you let that nigga Don Carter get off in them things. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just saying. Tariq and Monet try to leverage a way to get from under Carter. Kane and Drew compete for the streets. Oh, God, not Kane and Drew again. An incident with Braden's relationship with L sends him off of the deep end. So Tariq and Monet try to leverage a way to get from under Carter. Maybe set up Zion. Unless, unless Zion knows Carter and is giving him that 35%, I think that's the only way that they can leverage something. Like, hey, we can set up Zion. What you think? They set up Zion. This way they can get from up under Zion because he's already upset about the whole Noma situation. Right, look, we can turn over Zion to you. We could take over his operation. You can get a, a larger Kane and Drew compete for the streets. See, that's where the divide is. Kane's still up under Noma. Drew is up under Don and his mama. But I thought Drew, oh, well, Drew said he was going to get out, but Don put him back in the, damn, bro, you, you can't win. You can't get out of the game. I need to find that. I need to find that sound bite. You can't get out of the game. Okay, so this is uh, looks like an Airbnb, and it looks. Kane and Drew compete for the streets. Who y'all got y'all money on? Kane or Drew? I know, I know we said, I know we had a little moment where we voted on who's gonna uh live longer. Um, I have some information, but I'm gonna stick to what I got. Like I said, I'm not gonna give you guys any spoilers. I'm not gonna show you guys the last part of the description. So, you know, that that part you guys won't need to know about. But I'm still sticking with Drew out living Kane. I know a lot, a majority of y'all said that Kane was going to live longer, so. Mm. 
<laughs> That's what they told Drew. You can't get out the game, Drew. That nigga Drew wanted to go do some artwork. You can't get out of the game. Kane and Drew compete for the streets. Uh, I wonder how they're gonna come to a clash because this is this is the third episode back. He just took out a threat. Wait, did it say he took out a threat or he needs to take out a threat? Drew must take out a threat to Carter's organization. What if the threat was Kane? Excuse me. What if what if Drew says, I mean, not Drew, Carter says you got to get rid of Kane because he works for Noma. Or he's like, hey, this shipment's going to come in. You got to get rid of this threat. And it's really Kane in them. And then once he finds out, it's already built up tension between the two. And that's how they start competing for the streets. I mean, my, my dog Drew was trying to get out of the game, man. They told him, you can't win. Drew just can't get out of the game, man. It's fucked up. It's fucked up they doing this to Drew, man. Let me ask you guys this. Just from what we've seen in these titles, are we are we thinking, what up, Torian? Are are we feeling a little are, are we feeling a certain type of way for Drew type shit? Like, come on, man. Look what Drew's going through. Remember, Drew tried to find an exit strategy. Monet's ass drug this man back into it. He said one time, and look what happened. One time caught his ass. Now it's gonna be more times, maybe four times. Motherfucking Monet, bro. You ever notice Monet's name is like we think about Tariq fucking shit up. All of these titles, Monet's name has been tied to some bullshit. Monet fights to get her family from up under thunder, uh, up under thunder. Monet fights to get her family from under Carter's thumb. The Tejadas are set on a mission to avenge what they lost. Monet tries to lever, leverage away from up under Carter. Like, God damn, Monet. Monica said last week Drew wanted to be Noma's number two. Come on, Monica. Come on. Can, can a brother change? Can a nigga borrow a pencil? <laughs> Come on. Come on, Monica. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on your response, Monica. Can a man change? What'd they say? I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And I know that the dope game is paying, but if I could draw some pictures and get out the game, I make one move and I'm out the game. Na 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 na. -na. Come on, I'm gonna draw some art. I don't wanna sling no rock. My mama hates on me. Slaps me after kills. Why does it have to be? This is Drew real quick. My boyfriend left me hanging. I'm out in Oklahoma. 
Keep playing with balls that aren't mine. That's Drew singing. That ain't me, y'all. That's Drew singing. Come on, kid. Can, can a brother have a change of heart? Can a brother have a change of heart? That's all I'm asking, Monica. Yeah, he wanted to be number two. What did Nelly say? I am number one. Two, nobody remember. No, what? I am number one. Two is not a winner and three, nobody remembers. He's just trying to move his way up to number one. Can we have a change of heart? Matter of fact, we're going to let the choir sing. Is there a heart? Is there a heart in the house tonight? Drew, stand up, stand up. Let them know. Come on, y'all got me singing tonight, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it make sense out here, man. This episode is called Higher Calling. Higher calling means big time balling. You feel me? Drew is competing with Kane. Monet is trying to leverage something to get from up under Carter, and it's been three episodes, and they still up under Carter. Drew may have caught a body in episode seven and episode eight. Now he's going against it with his brother. He didn't want this life. This is what they mean. You don't choose this life. The life chooses you. Oh yeah. Let me see. Let me see what Monica gotta say. Drew whining about Gordo. Gordo didn't have um <laughs> Drew's whining about Gordo. Gordo didn't have that of love. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Drew was whining about Gordo. Gordo didn't have a love for Drew. Gordo took out Lorenzo, aka Poppy, while he was with Drew. See, so we gotta feel sorry for him, man. <laughs> My nigga Drew, man. I'm trying, Drew. I'm trying to help, man. You know, when your homeboy, they clowning your homeboy. You trying to like, you know what I'm saying? You it's like it's your boy, but you you gotta understand, you gotta let him stand on his own too. So it's like, hey, bro, you gotta, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You trying to help him out, but hey nigga, you gotta fight back. You gotta say something, bro. I can't jump in on this. You know what I mean? I'm trying to help you, Drew. You know what I mean? I've seen you, I've seen you develop as a as a young man to I don't know where you're at today. Like <laughs> you all kinds of fucked up, man. One point you a goddamn demon. The next point you working for Monet. Now you working for David. I mean, not David's goddamn. Uh, what's the man named Don Carter? Golly, man. There's a lot of shit going on, man. We getting too far ahead. I don't even know what's happening in episode six. We talking about episode eight, trying to piece it together with no information. I love it though. I love it though. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. All right. All right. Uh, incident with Braden's relationship with L sends him off the deep end. The only thing I can think about sending Braden off the deep end. This might be this might be the first time ever we do this in the power universe, but an incident with Braden's relationship with L sends him off the deep end. I don't I don't want to do this, guys. I don't, but I think we need to do this. I, I I think we need to go ahead and mark L off. An incident with Brady's relationship with L sends him off the deep end. I, this might be the first time we ever. We got a premeditated exit. Oh, I don't want. I don't. I, I, we ain't gonna do it now. Nah, nah. We got. We got a month and a half. We we gonna think. We gonna. We gonna let it. We're going to let it, you know what I'm saying? We're going to let it marinate. We're going to let it simmer on the back burner. I, I, I'm i thinking we might need to go ahead and put that, at least just one line through her. At least one line. I don't know. I don't know. Should we? Can we do that, y'all? I mean, you know, we do whatever the fuck we want with the board, but 
Should we do at least one line? Like, like, come on, man. She's on coke and she got sickle cell. Now, when I was watching the show called Super Cell, they got sickle cell. They got superpowers, but them niggas wasn't on coke. I'm just saying, man. That's what they telling us. An incident with Braden's relationship with L sends him off the deep end. I tell you one thing. I can't swim, so I ain't. You ain't never gonna catch me in the deep end. Just being, just being honest, you're not gonna catch me in the deep end, but. My bad. I was uh, reading this damn. I was looking at the description, but I don't know if it's going to have anything to do with. All right, fuck it. What up, Tamika? Tamika, you just missed out on some some valuable information. Like we may have figured out a whole bunch of shit, but right now we're trying to figure out what is this incident. So we, I mean, L is around. L's at the party playing with her nose now. Do we? And I, I, I mean, L, beautiful, beautiful. But come on, man. Anybody waking up in the morning that early and going to she wasn't going to pound town, she was going to snort town, snort town. <laughs> like she waking up talking about it's just taking the it. <laughs> she talking about I'm not addicted or nothing, Raiden. It's just, it takes the edge off all my other symptoms. It's nothing, I can stop whenever I want to. It's not really that big of a problem, Brayden. But, I mean, if you're getting it for free, why not indulge? You know what I mean? Like one here. Oh boy, you ain't getting high, Braden. Hmm. It is a little hot in here, though. You know. Hand me some of that. Let me see. Let me see some of that. So it's saying the incident with Braden's relationship. So all I can think is L either. Maybe she does an OD. Maybe she has like a seizure or something. Maybe she has one of the, you know what I'm saying, one of the moments where she gets to shaking and shit, convulsion. Now, free is always good. Now, you're never going to hear me pass up free. If it's free, I'm there. If it's free, I'm there. Hey, we got free food. Okay, first of all, let me try to get there first so no one else is touching the food before I get there. And I can expect what I do want to eat. Oh, we giving out free bags? Okay, what y'all got in these bags? Y'all got pins? Okay, y'all got t-shirts? Okay, I'll need me a free t-shirt. Oh, yeah, I'm there for the free. Sickle cell crisis. That's what I'm thinking it is. I don't think she might. It's either she ODs or it's the sickle cell. But I think it's going to probably. Because one thing is they're starting to show a lot of shows. 
I mean, because, you know, sickle cell is more dominant in, you know, melanated people. So there's more shows. So it's like they're bringing the awareness to it. It's like, hey, writers, put this in the shows. But but between us, let's just say there is an incident with uh with L. If I'm Braden, I'm going to Effie's room. If I'm Braden, I'm going. Braden, it's gonna be okay. Braden crying. This is Braden. Braden. I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> Effie hugging on him. <laughs> Braden still got some of that that fresh booger sugar because he took what was left in the room because he didn't want to leave no evidence. He, so he took it from L. He go over there. He tried to give Effie some. Like, damn, Braden, you wilded out, nigga. But I'm going to Abby's room. I'm going to see what Abby talking about. Hey, Abby, is there any way you can hook me up? See, y'all thought I was trying to get it, Abby. If I'm Braden, I got to get in the dope game now. I'm like, I got to really bounce back. I'm trying to see what Abby got going on. You can give me some of no one's product. Look, me and you could move it. Remember all cap, no frap? Me and you did that shit. That was me and you. Or was it all frap, no cap? Either way, it was me and you. It was me and you, and I got no lie up and running. Let's get it cracking. See, y'all minds are in the gutter. I'm thinking about a higher calling. This episode is called A Higher Calling. I'm trying to get to this paper. Unlike y'all, I'm not one of those guys that when I'm in a dire need, I'm trying to get some cutty. I'm trying to get some money. I'm trying to survive. Forget that cutty. I'm trying to get the hell up out the city. And if I'm Braden, if anything happens to L, I think this might be a wake up call to Braden to realize, hey, Braden, this ain't the life for you, bro. We still don't even know where Becca's at. Remember, Becca's low key junkie, too. No, well, I don't know. Like, I don't I don't know what Braden was trying to do. I'm trying to go over there and get some of that money. Because if I'm Braden, I'm going at Broussandria. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to knock something down my homeboy didn't knock down and Kane didn't knock down. Man, Effie for the mother effing streets. Effie on the left side of the streets. That means avoid her. Whenever you hear somebody is for the streets, if they for the left side of the streets, that means you stay on the right side of the street to avoid running into them. Effie is the left side of the street. I'm a right side of the street type of nigga. I avoid the left side. I don't cross that line unless I'm turning. And when I turn, I'm staying on the right side. I ain't turning into the left lane. No, 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 no. I'm turning into the far right. No, come on, man. All right. So that's episode eight. I mean, we see we're getting further and further away, and the, the, the lifeline is getting thinner and thinner and thinner. All right, here we go. Yeah, well, four lefts do make a four lefts do make a right. Regardless of how you look at it, four lefts do make a right. Think about it. Just go outside, go outside, drive down the block, make a left. Drive down the block. Make another left. Draw down the block. Make another left. 
and go a little bit further and then make another left. You eventually made a right. You on that right block, that's the, the next block over. Four rights does make a left. I mean, no, four lefts make a right. Four rights make a left. Just, hey, it's all about perspective, man. I see life a little bit different. For me, I look at life and I try to see the positive in everything. I try not to be negative, even though I have a lot of negative thoughts in my mind. I try to be positive about shit. But I tell you this though, two wrongs don't make a right. Oh, we got the Patreon coming up. We're gonna do five heartbeats, and we're gonna be doing sing-alongs. Oh yeah, I gotta get some five heartbeats. But I think we're gonna start off with the trilogy of house parties. We're gonna do house party. Then we're gonna do five heartbeats. Oh, then we gotta watch their presidents. We gotta watch Jurassic Park. We gotta watch Stand By Me. Man, I got a whole bunch of classic movies. So I'm going to get that Patreon up and running. We're going to do that shit at least twice a week for sure. And then I'll have more in-depth breakdowns of power where I'm actually showing the actual footage and it's not just pictures of shit. So we'll have that cracking.